Hello and welcome to this session uh, about AWS Elemental Media Package. My name is Sam. I'm a senior product manager at AWS Elemental. I manage a couple of products uh, related to video delivery solutions. Today we're going to see a brief overview of what AWS Media Package is and how it is uh, beneficial for you and how you can build your video workflows on it. So let's uh, dive into this. And to start off, what is AWS Elemental Media Package? So Media Package is uh, a just-in-time packager that's one of the best in market packaging solutions available. So Media Package enables customers such as content providers and broadcasters to deliver video from one source to many devices. Media Package is also valuable as it helps protect your premium content through encryption through DRM and DRM capabilities. Media Package also provides advanced video experience features such as DVR and, or time delay TV. So before we dive into Media Package and look at what Media Package is, uh, let's look at the concept of what just-in-time packaging is in itself. So just-in-time packaging is a concept where you take one incoming stream of video and then you dynamically convert it into multiple formats based on the requesting device. So over here in this image you can see that there is one ladder of stream coming from the upstream encoder into the packaging solution and in our case here it's media package and then media package dynamically converts or formats that to the requesting device and sends it downstream. So this optimizes your storage efficiency and it also helps you deliver your content to a wider stream of audience. So there is a question that always comes up. Uh, doesn't the encoder already convert my content to different, different screen size? What is this delivery formats? So let's look at a little bit on this. Yes, your encoder takes your video stream and it encodes it to fit to different screen sizes. So your screen size could be 4K for a big screen such as a television, or for a medium size screen it could be a 1080p or at lower resolutions. So these are different video uh, qualities that's delivered based on the requesting device or the network bandwidth that is available at that time. But there is more to more than just the rendition. There are several OTT protocols or delivery formats. These are based on the requesting end devices. So there is Microsoft Smooth Streaming, which is used by the Microsoft devices such as Xbox and Microsoft PCs. And there is uh, Dash, which is used by Android devices and other new Microsoft devices, and there is HLS, which is predominantly used by Apple devices, iOS devices, and also other, set, uh, other setup boxes. So these delivery formats are basically um, a technology where it has a manifest file that helps the end device interpret the incoming video stream. So these are different uh, formats in which the content needs to be delivered. And this is a function of the packager. It takes the incoming stream and it can deliver it in multiple formats to these devices. So there are two different kind of packaging workflows. So like you can see here, there is static packaging or pre-packaging. In this format, the incoming video is taken and sent to a packager. The packager then converts this into the number of formats that's required. So it could be Dash, MSS, or HLS. And this content is converted into that format, and then it's stored on a, a static storage or an origination location, and from there the content is delivered to your player. So this is a one-time conversion of your content into that format, and it is stored in the number of uh, formats. So it could be two or three, depending on how many formats are needed. Just-in-time packaging is another breakthrough concept that came in that to, to help optimize your storage capabilities and also to 
uh, provide a future-proof format of packaging. So in this, like you can see in this uh, diagram here, the content is encoded by an upstream packager and it's sent to your packager. And the packager at this point takes the, ingests the content and stores the metadata but doesn't do any packaging action on this. So then when a player makes a, re a request for a particular format, the packager goes to work at that point and the packager dynamically converts this to the format that is requested and delivers it to the requesting device. So it optimizes the storage and it also provides you uh, the ability to add more packaging features without having the need to retranscode all the assets like you would do in static packaging. So why is media package so great? Here are some advantages that you get with media package. First, it provides a best in class content protection abilities or features. So media package does just-in-time encryption. So while it's also doing the packaging, it also encrypts at that point. Media Package is integrated through Speak, which is another initiative by AWS Elemental. Speak is an acronym for Secure Packaging and Encryption Key Exchange. It is an interface through which the packager can interface with your DRM solution provider. So through Speak, Media Package is already integrated with 16 DRM solution providers and it is, all, it is growing and evolving every day. So all of these DRM solution providers would work out of the box with Media Package, cutting down your integration time with the DRM solution provider. The second advantage that you get with Media Package is the device coverage. Media Package is ever evolving, and right now Media Package on the live and on file-based packaging can deliver content in Dash, HLS, MSS, and CMAF HLS formats. And Media Package is also adding new features every day, and it is future-proofed, and new features are available for you as Media Package keeps evolving and growing. And it enables you to reach a wide audience through all of these packaging formats. The Media Package also provides you advanced video experience features, such as Time Shifted TV. On Media Package, you can store the content for 14 days at no additional cost. So content providers or broadcasters can build advanced video experience features leveraging this ability. Media Package is built with the best foundational services available with AWS. So Media Package is a resilient origin that can scale up to any spikes in the user traffic. And Media Package optimizes your storage efficiency as any just-in-time packager would do and you pay for only as much as you use, so it is optimized for your usage. So Media Package can protect your premium content through encryption. It supports Widevine, PlayReady, and FairPlay and other DRM technologies available in the market. As of today, as we speak, uh, Media Package is integrated with 16 DRM solution providers, and this number is ever-growing, and all of these DRM solution providers would work out of the box for you. So now let's uh, look at the two workflows that Media Package supports. The first one is the live linear packaging workflow. In this, an upstream encoder such as AWS Elemental Media Live sends an HLS live stream with digest authentication via WebDAV to Media Package. So Media Package receives this on the input URL on Media Package. Um, and if there is input redundancy, then on that, input channel, Media Package would have two input URLs and it would receive identical HLS streams on both of those uh, input URLs. And Media Package uses one of them as the source content and when that source content on that stream fails, Media Package automatically switches over to the other input URL and uses that as a source content. And Media Package has an output URL and when a request comes, Media Package dynamically goes and packages the content on the requested format and sends it downstream. Both on the ingest side and on the egress side, Media Package can scale up or down the resources based on the incoming traffic. On the video on demand packaging flow, this is a typical packaging flow that you can see here. A file based transcoder such as AWS Elemental Media Convert takes an input file and it transcodes it to optimize the storage. In Media Package, you create an asset 
and you point it to that content, and Media Package goes and uses that as the source content for the file-based packaging. It has a packaging configuration URL, and every packaging configuration URL is associated with a streaming format. And an end device makes a request to Media Package through the packaging configuration URL, and Media Package dynamically packages the content to the requested format at that point. And again here, on the packaging configuration on the output side, Media Package sc can scale resources up or down based on the incoming request traffic. So that brings us to the big question, how much do all of these things cost me? Media Package has a very simple pricing model. For live, Media Package charges per gigabyte of content that it ingests, and it charges for per gigabyte of actual content that is consumed. So customers pay for the actual usage. And on the WAD side, we have no charges for the content ingested. So you can bring all your library to Media Package, and you won't incur any charges or costs at that point. And you pay for only the content that is actually consumed or egressed or originated out of Media Package. So for the current pricing, I would encourage you to go to this link listed on this slide to learn more about Media Package's current pricing. So that brings us to the end of our session today. And thanks again for joining us in this session.